I'm James Spann with the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, the 12th day of June. The weather looks pretty calm for a while. Let's check some of the Skycam shots this afternoon. First off, coming from Hamilton, where they still have some parts of the city there without power after uh, last night's big storms. Uh, the sky is mostly cloudy. There's the trustful sky cam, mostly cloudy there and way down south in the Alabama Gulf Coast. That's our sky cam at the Dauphin Island Sea Lab. And the sky is mostly sunny. All right, still got generally unsettled weather across the deep south, but so far today, most of the active storms have been west of Alabama. And at the surface, we have a cold front that is now entering northwest Alabama. And so far, the front has been relatively inactive. The big derecho we had last night really stabilized the air in the wake of that thing. And so far, storms have just been very slow to develop. About the most interesting feature we've got on radar is that curved arc of rain over Mississippi. And that represents an MCV, a mesoscale convective vortex. That's a spin in the atmosphere, the result of a big thunderstorm mass. And we'll see if that can kick off some storms maybe into west or southwest Alabama later tonight. But again, as I do this update at mid-afternoon, things are quiet. The temperature is not bad at all. Uh, we should note that they are well below forecast levels. Models have been running way too warm lately. Uh, Haleyville sitting at only 77. Uh, the uh, warm spot, Alexander City at 89. That seems to be incorrect. I don't see anything close to that around the Deep South. Uh, Montgomery and Tuscaloosa, probably the warmest spots there at 85. And around the nation, nice cool air coming down into the upper Midwest, parts of Minnesota, Wisconsin, upper Michigan. But we're not going to feel that. In fact, if anything, a daytime high should go up in coming days, even with a weak front easing in here tonight. Active weather off to the west. That's a severe thunderstorm watch for parts of Texas. Uh, Abilene over to Waco and up to Dallas-Fort Worth until 5 o'clock this afternoon. And the risk of severe weather for the rest of today and tonight. Got the standard slight risk over much of Texas and points north up across the western high plains. We do note low in 5% probabilities over about the southern two-thirds of Alabama, but Again, so far, the storms have not fired. This is tomorrow, 5% severe weather chance from Texas to the Canadian border and on day three. Again, no formal risks, just that 5% chance for parts of the Upper Plains. Rain for the next five days. This is valid through Sunday morning at 7 o'clock. Better numbers are down to the south. A lighter amounts over the Tennessee Valley. And again, it's just really after Tonight, it's not going to rain much around here. And on the Gulf Coast, we think the storm should be scattered. Nothing like the big flooding issue they had this past weekend. And the tropics are quiet. I get some evidence there could be some mischief out there maybe in 7 to 14 days, but uh, we'll see. Let's take a look at the GFS. This is the 12Z run, valid at 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Uh, winds aloft here, light and variable. And certainly that's not going to have much of a push for a front, but the model does push that surface boundary really all the way down to about Montgomery or Troy tomorrow, and that gets us in drier air. Uh, dew points drop into the upper 50s. In fact, the NAM has dew points in the middle 50s, and uh, with the sun coming up, that'll push the high maybe up to about 90, but the humidity should be very low, so it's not really a bad kind of 90-degree day. Pretty much the same deal on Thursday. Adder maybe just over 90. And I guess you might mention a slight chance of an afternoon shower. Same thing on Friday. A chance of any one spot getting wet, I'd say, is in about the 15% bracket, which is what the model guidance is giving. The winds, uh, again, are light. We'll see a high close to 90. And then Saturday, as we start the weekend, we've got this heat bubble centered a little north of here. And down below that, some evidence of an easterly flow developing, and that should knock highs back into the mid to upper 80s as we start the weekend. And again, the chance of rain very small and the same thing on Sunday. So the bulk of the weekend should be dry. And again, even on the Gulf Coast, anything down there should be widely spaced. Monday of next week, pretty calm. And a week from today, no big change. So as you can see, it looks like a very calm, mostly dry period for the next seven days around here. Uh, we'll go to June the 23rd. Evidence of a little uh, mischief in the Southwest Gulf, a, a broad low is coming onto the Mexican coast south of Brownsville, Texas. And this is when, you know, the model has been trying to suggest maybe some tropical action in the Gulf. And again, this is Saturday, June 23rd. And, you know, it's just an idea. We'll keep an eye on that. And on June the 28th, the end of the forecast, look at the trough over the east. Come on now. Hey, that's nice and cool if that's right for much of the east. And even down here, that would more than likely keep temperatures a bit below average if this is right. And of course, we all know that is a big if. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes on the blog next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And don't forget, 
to watch ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 on the live stream or the television side. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless. The first thing you've got to understand, you cannot rely on an outdoor siren. You cannot hear those inside a home, a building, a church. It won't work. You've got to get something inside your house. That's a weather radio or maybe a smartphone app. We work with a company that's developed a wonderful weather radio app for Android phones and iPhones. It knows where you are, and if you're in a tornado warning polygon, you get the warning. And if you're not, you don't. It's an effective device, and it's a great way to be sure you get the warning.